We are on our way to a casino near San Diego. I'll take my badge off. It's your badge? What's your badge for? Hey. What? <laughs> Fugitive recovery agent? Yeah, because there's somebody that's down there that I may may grab and make a thousand fifteen hundred bucks. What is it? You're a bounty hunter? Oh, that must be something else I haven't told you yet. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> About an hour outside of uh, San Diego, getting ready to pull into the Pala Casino. The man I'm about to talk to is known as uh, uh, Robin Hood 702. He's a professional gambler. I'm here to talk to him about why he was kicked out of the MGM and the lawsuit that he filed afterwards and the things that he discovered in that lawsuit. Someone breached my privacy at MGM casinos where they were basically giving my information to multiple people. When I say information, I'm talking about screenshots from the MGM computers where my address, phone number, how much I played, how much I brought, my average bet, everything. Stuff that a gambler doesn't want anybody else to know. And they somehow got access to this information. The reason for the suit was a privacy breach, but it encompassed a lot of other stuff uh, within the lawsuit. I found out some very disturbing things. The former MGM director of surveillance told me over 200 cameras were off at the time in the Mandalay Bay shooting. And I got a recording of him. October 1st, Mandalay Bay had over 200 cameras not working. Uh, now that doesn't mean they turned them off, they just, they were not working, they were not repaired. So the cameras broke and they were not repaired. This was 209 gaming cameras. Yes, security negligence, cameras were out. They were untrained in some of the equipment and the protocols and how to do the different systems. And that came out in their reports to the police. And I did stories on that. So there was no way this was going to go to a courtroom. That's why I agreed to the settlement. I think that there was a clear intent that this would never go to trial. And I had a problem with that because from day one, I said the truth needs to be told. If we did go to trial, all of this would come out. And that's exactly what they didn't want. And when they chose the mediator, they chose Jennifer Togliatti. This is a judge who stepped down a year early from her retirement to actually go work for a company called ARM. And when she goes to work there, what is her first case that she's handed? Oh, wow, look, it's an MGM case. And who is her father? MGM's vice president, head of security, safety, and surveillance, none other than George Togliatti. There is a conflict of interest there because her dad is the VP of security. Ms. Tagalotti retired from the bench at 19 years instead of going that one more year for retirement. Judge Tagalotti, I believe, was brought in to save MGM and her father's ass. How do they not say, we should not do this? They didn't do it because they wanted the fix in. Period. The end. The fix has always been in in Vegas. That's what they do. It's ridiculous. It can only happen in Vegas. Las Vegas is a big facade. The whole city is an illusion. And the person that's getting in the way of the illusion of selling this case to the American public is Roger Keenis. This is a claimant who actually ran back in and tried to save the lives of others. And this is a slap in his face and he pulled out of the settlement. He is the single person that we know of that opted out. We never even got the damn truth, and that's all I wanted. And that's why I opted out, because no amount of money is gonna buy the truth. And somebody had to stand up to them. People need to be held accountable so this can never happen again. It's a twisted, twisted tale of corruption in Vegas. It's an incestuous thing that happens in Vegas. They all protect each other like brothers and sisters. This case should have been in the billions. You have a case of someone trying to put on the illusion that everyone is happy. When in reality, the only people that win in this case were the lawyers and MGM, and that's it. The take was $800 million and divided up with around 4,500 people, and it's not a lot of money. Neither is the 49 million that MGM, a corporation who grosses over 10 billion a year, has to actually pay out out of pocket. So MGM won. We are talking about the largest mass shooting in the history of the United States. This is a crazed lunatic. My brother just killed 58 people. My dad was on the 10 most wanted FBI list. We're not normal people. Ah! Gambled 
$1.6 million at the Mandalay in the week before he did this. He was really, really angry with the gaming industry. There's been accusations that there's multiple shooters. That has been proven to be false. And you had politicians grandstanding on this Vegas Strong movement to get elected. Vegas Strong. I'm turning tragedy into opportunity. It was an election year, and it was camera time for Lombardo and his friends. I want to thank Sheriff Lombardo for your leadership. I'm getting feast time every day. Almost every press conference, you saw one figure, and that was Steve Sislak, using this as a springboard for his political campaign. He used the tragedy to get elected. While the hashtag Vegas Strong campaign raised over $10 million, less than $20,000 were distributed to the victims in the first five months. If they came out and said what really happened, I think they're afraid of a period of time where people say it's not safe to go to Vegas. Nothing happens in Las Vegas without the ring of a cash register. MGM Resorts is suing the victims. They are being sued for getting shot. Shameful, disgusting, outrageous. The newly released video shows Las Vegas police waiting in the hallway as Stephen Paddock continues to murder people. Oh my God. Lives could have been saved if they would have taken action. They were fibbing the whole time about being such big heroes they are hiding in the hallway. I asked them, are you stupid or are you incompetent? Please stop asking your question. You hear officers directly saying, turn your cameras off. I'm telling you right now, there's more than one shooter. Could be as many as three. We saw multiple muzzle flashes coming out that window. There is no conspiracy. We're